Honoring Black History Month, imagine if you could travel back in time and hear the stories of slavery in America from those who lived it, people who were enslaved themselves. That's essentially what one Chicago journalist has done in a new book, which brings us those first-person stories today. Here's NBC5's Phil Rogers. We were slaves. We belonged to people. Living story from an almost unfathomable time in America. I got my name from President Jeff Davis. He was president of the Southern Confederacy. He owned my grandfather and my father. When stories like those of slavery in America were still fresh, when there were still people who could tell them, writers from the Depression-era Works Progress Administration fanned out across the country to write down and preserve those stories. And among their interviews, they interviewed about 3,000 formerly enslaved men and women. Chicago journalist Richard Cahan and his co-editor Michael Williams have paired dozens of those stories with photos of the people who told them. New volume, River of Blood. I think when you read these narratives, you realize that things were worse than you could have imagined. They are stories of courage and survival. Bill Homer, man who was given away with 49 others as a wedding present. Ben Horry, who remembered standing with his father and watching as his mother was flawed. And here you read about it really from the eyes of people who lived through it. And that's what struck me much more than anything else. They are indelible, painful stories. We got one pair of shoes a year. And when they wore it out, we went bare. The owners didn't want the slaves to learn how to read because they were afraid they'd get too smart. And while all of these individuals lived to a ripe old age, somewhere in their 90s, even over a hundred, Many were not certain of their real names or exactly how old they really were. Many of them didn't. They didn't know exactly what year they were born and some didn't even know what, where they were born. So identity became a really important issue for many. While the transcripts of the interviews have been circulated before, largely in academic circles, this is the first time photos have been linked to the stories. They are powerful reminders that not far outside our own lifetimes, almost unspeakable cruelty reigned and was accepted in America. When you see somebody who's uh, an 80 year old man and he's dignified and he's wearing a suit and he talks about the day his family was split into six parts and he never saw his mother for more than a single night after that. And you see how he's, how, how, how he's persevered, I think it has great meaning. There are very few recordings of these individuals. You heard two at the top of our story. Our thanks to our colleagues Pam Oliver and Dante Williams for helping to bring some of the others to life. By the way, Rich Cahan does not refer to them as former slaves. He says they were enslaved. That was their condition. But they weren't slaves. They were people. Robin Allison, these are extraordinary accounts. Powerful stories. Thanks for bringing that Comes to us. Comes through loud and clear in those recordings. Thanks, Phil.